Okay, well this is another experiment of mine. I want to try to simulate the experience uh, that you might have if you read uh, a portion uh, of my new uh, Miki Falls book, Summer. Uh, so let's see if I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and flip to one page and uh, zoom in as best I can on the passages that I'll be reading to you. One morning I awoke to find a note tucked into my window screen. Dear Miki, it said, we both know that things can't keep going on the way they are. I'm ready, and I know you are too, to take the next step. Meet me at Matsumoto Temple this afternoon after school. And so I hurried to Matsumoto Temple later that day, my head whirling with questions about what the next step might be, and why Hiro, with all of the temples in Fukuyama to choose from, had picked one where the only regular visitors were stray dogs and rats. Kind of creepy, isn't it? Still, I figured it would be the perfect place for us to have a little chat. No one to interrupt us, for one thing. Even better, the steps are the only way back down the mountain, and, provided I'm nearer to them than you are, we just might cure that nasty little habit you have of making sudden, dramatic exits. Where's Hiro? I'm afraid he's standing you up, Miki. I don't think you should hold it against him, though, since he doesn't even know you're up here. Hiro didn't write that note. You did. Oh, dear. Which line gave me away? The one about you two being ready for the next step? Is this how you amuse yourself? By deceiving people you hardly even know? Don't act so scandalized, Miki. Forging a note is like child's play to me. I'm a deliverer, remember? Deceiving humans is what we do. I'd have thought you'd be used to all this by now. You've witnessed heroes' deceptions. Why, I'll bet you've been on the receiving end of some of them. Haven't you? What goes on between Hiro and me is none of your business. On the contrary, Miki, what's going on between you two is the business of all deliverers. And the only reason I didn't blow the whistle on you weeks ago is because Hiro asked me not to. But that doesn't mean I'm going to just stand here and do nothing while you waltz around like the rules don't apply to you. Well, they do apply to you, Miki and I'm here to make sure you start obeying them. It's not your decision to make. Hiro will do what he feels is right. He knows the rules as well as you do. Yeah, well, he's clearly forgotten one of them. He can't be with you. He can't. Deliverers can only be with deliverers. There's no other kind of relationship we can have. So, why are you wasting Hiro's time? Why are you being so incredibly selfish as to keep tempting him into this pointless little pseudo-fling that can lead him to nothing but complete and utter disgrace? Nobody's tempting anyone here, Reika. Hiro spends time with me because he likes to. Yeah, and uh, some people like to do heroin, Miki. That doesn't mean it's a good idea or that we should allow them to do it. It's not like that. It is like that, Miki. What you're doing is bad for Hiro. You are bad for Hiro. And if you would stop deluding yourself for even a second, you would see that for the ugly little fact that it is. You have no right to call anyone selfish. You're only doing this because you're pursuing Hiro. I don't need to pursue Hiro, Miki, because he's already mine. He's always been mine. And he will continue to be mine long after I've put an end to your pathetic attempt to steal him away from me. Well, you might want to let Hiro know about that. Because he tells anyone who asks that you're just an old friend. Well, what are you? Has he ever kissed you? Or taken you in his arms? Or even held your stupid little hand? Of course not. He wouldn't do those things to you. He couldn't. You really are in love with him, aren't you? Don't try to make this about me. This is about you, and how you will soon cease to have any dealings whatsoever with Hiro. But I can't do that. You can and will do that. 
This is not a request, Miki. I'm telling you to break off all relations with Hiro by this time tomorrow. If I find that you haven't done so, I'll go straight to Hiro's superiors. You see, Miki, it really is time for you to take the next step. It's just that the next step is for you to bring this whole thing to a very abrupt end. Because if you don't, I will. So there you have it, my little uh, dramatic reading from the second Mickey Falls book, Summer. Sorry I'm not uh, the greatest voice guy in history, but that gives you some sense of, of what it's like to, uh, to read a part of my book, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy my approach to uh, manga storytelling. Uh, of course, if you do decide to go out and get the books, probably the first one you want to get is uh, Mickey Falls Spring, book one. Uh, I chose this uh, reading uh, just because I thought it was fairly dramatic. Uh, in any case, uh, thanks so much if you do get my books, uh, and if you don't, rest assured I will be moving back to doing a, a How to Draw video for my next videos uh, for the foreseeable future. But uh, thanks for watching this if you did decide to check it out. All right, bye now.